All right, what up everyone? Thanks for coming to Tempo Labs. What is Tempo? Tempo Labs is a code first alternative to Figma. It's built in like an IDE that can sit on top of your React code base, but it has the UX of a design tool similar to Figma. So there was mega launch week. We were one of, I think, 15 companies that did five launches. We built deployments. So whatever kind of app you create in Tempo, you can one click deploy it and redeploy it, which is really cool. We built real time multiplayer editing. So kind of like multi cursor live editing on a single code base in the cloud, which is really, really cool. So kind of like Figma, you can share a link and it's a git branch on a code base uh, that lives in the cloud day three we built kind of an ai copilot for product managers to help them write product requirement docs as well as user flow diagrams today we did drag and drop powered by react storybook for those of you who are familiar with stories and storybook and we built a drag and drop thing we have really really cool launch videos shout out to dan who's been creating some really cool videos if you go to any of our blog posts you'll see all the ridiculous content that we've been creating but with that tomorrow is day five and the last day and super base launch week so we're gonna uh, demo our super base integration that we built a couple days ago. I'm going to switch to Tempo. So uh, this is the Tempo editor. Uh, what you see here is a application built for an influencer marketplace that connects influencers with advertisers. Um, right now, it's just using kind of sample mock data that's been hard coded on the front end. But what I'm going to show you is how you can work with the Tempo AI assistant to integrate with Superbase and turn this into a live production app that hits Superbase on the back end. So as you can see, we've got this sweet little Superbase tab over here. Um, I can go to this tab and I can connect my organization. So if I go over here to, uh, it'll, it'll take me to the kind of Superbase auth page. I can select my organization. I can authorize it. Once authorized, I can click the test project that I'd like to connect and I'll just connect it right there. Um, and right now I have kind of this blank, uh, this blank Superbase instance. Now, once I've connected the project, what it's going to do is it's going to add the end variables um, for, for your Superbase project directly to this project. So it's all hooked up and ready to go. Uh, now I can go over to the AI tab and I can say, uh, I can say, um, please uh, add the list of influencers to my uh, database on Superbase. Um, and so what it's going to do is it's going to Again, it has all the context of your current code base and stuff like that. So it's going to analyze that whole thing. Uh, it's going to look at what um, metadata exists on the Superbase side, and it's going to basically recommend changes that need to be made. So here, it's basically giving uh, the entire uh, SQL, uh, all, all the SQL that I need to run in the SQL editor in order to kind of spin up this instance. So let's give it a second to generate. OK, so it's telling me, you know, please run this in your SQL editor. So I'm going to click this. I'm going to go over to my test organization. Uh, I'm going to run this. Okay, there was some issue. That's okay. Let's just ask it to fix it. Music. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm going to now try this again. Success. All right. Now I'm just going to tell the AI, okay, this is done. <laughs> Oops. And now what it's going to do is it's going to run the terminal command to generate uh, the types based on the data that exists on the database. Um, and it's going to basically start writing a bunch of the code. Let's take a look. Um, so here's kind of uh, some of the influencer.ts. <laughs> it's made some changes to the influencer grid. And now it's restarting the project. Okay, there was a mistake in the diff. It's just gonna fix itself. Is it writing equations? Uh, or... Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So here now, let's see what's going on over here. Okay. So I have Sarah Johnson, Mike Chen, and Emma Davis. Let's turn this into Sergey. I don't know if I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Tempo. 
Sergey Tempo, boom, there's my demo. <laughs> so that's how kind of uh, in, in one shot workflow you can generate a React app, collaborate with your team to design it out. One click hook up to Superbase and work with the AI to get the whole thing up and running. And then like we launched, uh, you can deploy it. So anyways, that's that. <laughs> Thank you. Woo!